compared to who or whom. My name is Tracy Montgomery and I talk about all things menopause, midlife and all the... So, those of you that have children out there, you will tell them not to compare themselves to somebody else. We see so much in the media about young people, what they look like, how they behave. What about us? Where are our role models and are they any different? If you look in the media and you look at women that are over 40, over 45, over 50, do they look like you? Do they look like me? I'm not sure that that many women in the media look like me. Look like me on a daily basis. I can't see because my hair's in the way. So we're telling our kids not to compare because of all the influencers, everything they see on the TV, the way people dress in soaps, the way they're portrayed in the media. And we tell them not to compare themselves because we say you should look how you want to look, you should behave how you want to behave, you should be happy with yourself. But what about us? How many women of our age look like us? It's a difficult one, isn't it? So if we think and look in the media, there has been here in the UK, there was a big hoo-ha <laughs> about the fact that Older female news presenters were being booted off when they got to a certain age, whereas the male older news presenters could stay. Big film just came out, Top Gun, whatever it was. The main character, Tom Cruise, he's a little bit older. And I know he works out all the time because he can. What happened to the female lead? How many women are portrayed in the media as going through perimenopause? How many women in the media are portrayed in that way? I don't know. Do you? Not many. We do see some female traits being portrayed. We see pregnancy. We see childbirth. That seems to be the prominent one but not the other bits, not this bit. So who do we compare ourselves to? How do we compare? And then what do we say to each other? If we some, see some, some somebody, if we see somebody our age who is dressed as they were in their 20s, 30s, we say, oh, what are they wearing? We do it to ourselves. We do our own self-talk, don't we? So we tell our children not to compare, to do what they want, but do we do the same to ourselves? Part of our self-talk. We can dress how we want. We don't need society to tell us. We can dress how we want. We can wear the clothes we want. We can have our hair how we want, which reminds me, mine needs a cut. It's our choice. So, ladies, if you want to have self-confidence to do what you want, feel how you want, dress how you want, come over and join me. I'll place a link in the comments below. I will talk to you soon. My name is Tracy Montgomery. I talk about all things menopause, midlife and all the... And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.